Are you Miss Jackson? I am a pure blood. I'm I'm a pure blooded rodent. That's what I am. I am an absolute menace on society. Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that part. They're waiting for you in hell! Yeah, no GG's. Then it just felt... Pay right. respect for um, Calcone and chat. do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? He'd be like, fuck you. Are we alone? Yeah, we're alone. We're alone. She, she, she gave me the look. We should go. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there! Yeah! Oh, Wait. Thank you for volunteering. I downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. <laughs> Stop the cap! <laughs> Mr. Dent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, finally, a friendly face. He's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. That's quite the look. Oh, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? Oh, it'd feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Uh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Well, after this whole incident, Just yeah, everyone will lose my number. nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching well, footage it, it of the goes... debate over and over. Ping would have ah, just look at the beat me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... It was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. Yeah, I can... I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. 
But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. They're after me. They're not gonna rest until all the names are crossed off their list. I can't just stand aside and let that happen. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy, to go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? Not gonna be able to take it easy. I mean, how am I supposed to do that? Do what you think is best, Harvey. You know what you need better than anybody. Exactly. Resting and doing nothing is just going to drive me up the wall. I need to get back to work. To try and be effective. Honestly, Good idea. I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot? Hill admitting to having both of them killed? It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Oswald and I were best friends when we were kids. I knew his mother. Talk to her. Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. No, it's not, it's not your fault. You did what you had to do. You don't have to explain yourself to me, Harvey. It was the right call for the campaign. I get that. Still, I abandoned you when you needed me. That's not the kind of friend I want to be. What is that? What's what? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. <laughs> And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. Harvey the lad. Harvey's an absolute legend. Batman, the Telltale series, episode three. Unit six in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. Nice light. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. <laughs> I'm just glad I got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Well, it worked. I'm here. I appreciate it. Things are a mess. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya. One of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash. Went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that I junk. can back her up. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. 
These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I never heard of them before. Then that debate. Oh, they're tearing up the entire city. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We gotta keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. Hey, I'll let him explain. Lucius. Who are you talking to? My you got a whole <laughs> team or something? My butler. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. All right, patching you through to R and D in Wayne Enterprise. I, I tried telling him the truth. So listen, the first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you used them at the skyline, I thought you'd need That's an audio Lee from feed the as well. Dead. The microphones are incredibly sensitive; they can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? We're probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Nah, we're going here. Headed to the construction site. <laughs> Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll uh, round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. <laughs> I love Batman, but I'm not. I'm no Batman. I'm fat. Okay, let's do this. What's that tiny little shank gonna do? What happened there? It's over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but um, I was wrong. What is we she? We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Yo, where is she? She's invisible! It's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm speaking to a ghost. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Don't beat yourself up. You did a lot of good here today. Sometimes the risk is worth it. I'll keep that in mind. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. For the chatter, sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's got to help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up. On She's this. not even there. Seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. 
I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Debra, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's too many of them! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. <laughs> Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that? Damn. Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You're wrong about me. I'd have put him in jail. So unless you're making a comment on the justice system, I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You think any of us are buying this recent nice guy routine? We've all heard the stories about you. I haven't killed anyone. This one died quick. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. How? You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone, anyone there? there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. Gordon! Gordon, Gordon come in! Do you copy? I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. No one pieced together that Batman is for his brain. Like, who else would be rich enough to do this shit? Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> we'll fix this, Alfred. We'll make it right. We just have to stay focused. I admire your determination, sir. Just be careful, Bruce. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. Am I going in with Bruce Wayne or with Batman? No one likes me now. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, I, uh, I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha, she was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Oh, Whether shit. to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. 
This company is bigger than any one individual. I've we done nothing to wrong. Face. And after this scandal. What my father. I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. Why is it all blurry? But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now. I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us when they fall. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. Well, I already know how it's going to play out. I lose the business. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. You can't afford to lose their resources. It doesn't matter what the board does. We'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Give me the bad news. Uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. <laughs> I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's going to take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm going to keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Um. Look, 
Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Well, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. Hell and yeah. he will, Lucius. Always. Sticky bomb. sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. What do you think she stole? Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. I wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, People are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city. Yeah, I don't care about that. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do. Here, get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Yeah, this is where they let me go and replace me with a cold boy. Yeah, because you know, uh, your parents do something wrong and it's apparently your fault. He knows. He knows he's gonna let, let go, so he's taking that with him. Mr. Wayne. Ruth. Open up. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I get it. My name isn't great for business lately. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. 
There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you. I, I gotta play nice. You gotta play nice. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... Cobble pot. It's easier on the tongue. Don't be like that, Bruce. It's for the best. I didn't say anything. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Thanks. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Apologies, I don't know where my head was. Probably halfway out the door, mate. No worries. Yeah, yeah, that must be it. Careful clean that up, Oz. You might cut yourself. Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Hey. Time to go. I have hey. a little redecorating I'm just, to do. I'm being nice as Bruce. Bruce. He's a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. Hey, the moment Batman comes in to play, he's getting a... Oswald's getting a beating of a lifetime. I can do that too. This way, Bruce. Oh, this bitch is getting an ass whooping later. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Just stay out of it. Don't go near it, and they won't be able to connect it to you. It's not that easy. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. No. But you know what they're you up to. Oh, no, you, you gotta be my ally. You gotta be my eye the knee that way. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. 
and let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. The moment Batman shows his face to Oswald, he's getting his ass kicked. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. At least I have you, Alfred. I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin Slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Let's check the drive Lucius gave us. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Yep. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time. The understatement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Dan, we'll be GG's. Yes, yeah, sir. Not yet. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Uh, yeah. Go warn Harvey. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. 
We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Transformers! Oh, Mr. Wayne. Welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Uh, at least she likes me. Yes, that's right. The back door. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harvey. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Sorry, it was my fault. I'll be sure to announce myself next time. <laughs> no, no, it's... It's all right. It's not you, it's just... My nerves are a little bit shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. Could never be too careful. Fair my enough. mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. You're better than Hill. Well, Gotham's last mayor was Hill, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? Yeah, thanks. I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. God, what was the compliment? mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Are we being watched? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always yeah. being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare, and I can't get out. So get rid of them. It'd be easy for the mayor of Gotham to make them outlaws. Declare the children of Arkham public enemy number one. Everyone in Gotham will want to turn him in. Yes, great. But how? I don't have nearly enough force behind me to bring them to heel. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You gotta strike fear into their hearts. Maybe break a few bones along the way. Yeah, true. Yeah, facts. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. And he won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. He do well. No one to answer to. No ties to the law. I think Batman would like that. His authority would be recognized and signed off by this office. Even better. That man works outside of the law. Ah, the there's the coin. Done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham, a better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. I like this plan. We want to play dirty. We'll play dirty. Okay, I'll admit that plan doesn't sound half bad. It'll be simple, easy. Curfews, checkpoints at every bridge, 24-7 video surveillance. No one blinks in this city without my say-so. Whoa. Sorry, Bruce. I'm so sorry. I <clears throat> just got a little carried away there. Uh, Mr. Dent, the photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. 
Don't tell anyone about this. I won't. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. You too, Harvey. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Uh, because she is. Spoilers, because she is the leader. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Uh, she could be that won't make persuaded it to reveal her source. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. After all, it did work with Mayor Hill. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who, who is this? Who do you think it is? I'm Batman. Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say it was I'm, a fan. Uh, I'm not a fan of your you work, I'm just a fan of talk. you. I've been meaning to thank you, what you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'm pretty sure you would, but... I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at Sundown. <laughs> Cobblepot Park. Deal. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Vicky be fine. Strange place to meet. And it's not wasn't you sure Vicky. you were gonna show. God, I admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I keep my word. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims did that she Gotham's just off the recording, of using their power recording often it? at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. You saw what they did at the debate. They're terrorizing Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose. Yeah, who's in the really. Gazette, you dumb We're fuck? To purge the city of corruption. The greatest detective. Sort of Not great from an investigative <laughs> standpoint. Wait, wait, wait. The greatest detective. All the answers were just in the newspaper, Batman. Could you just not a, uh, just do one of these? All you had to do. Imagine this is the newspaper. All you had to do was. Oh! That's what they're up to. But no. He, he wants to go talk to Vicky, which I completely understand. Fair point. Fair play. Fair play. Point, but the game's the game. It up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. They're fighting the truth. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? 
How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm... I'll make you a deal. <laughs> sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. That's unacceptable. I need you to be more helpful than that, Miss Vale. <sighs> Save the dramatics for those who deserve it. Bruce Wayne would be a good start. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not him. protecting him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. We're not done. <laughs> We're not done. We are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but here. What this sort of is Vicky, where we you... met for the interview? Just please don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Obviously, it's a setup. I'm pretty sure it was. Is. Yo, wait. I can't wait until the Wolf Among Us season two. That's gonna be fire. The trailer for it? Ooh, it looks good. Everything's uh, dark. Quiet. Damn, that was a good one. It's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. They'll show eventually. Uh, I don't doubt you. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Let's go look at the dead body. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? Asthma attack. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. Um. Well, here we go. They're building a bomb. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. 
Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Yeah, GG's. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. What exactly are they planning to release? <gasps> Cocaine! Someone's been practicing chemistry. Walter White was here. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Something spilled here. Looks like the ooze from Ninja Turtles. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Alter the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. There we go. Sweet. And do that with that. Mercy Street. But how are they planning to release it? drug is being modified here. They're changing it. Uh, here we go. Sky train car. Here we go. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. There we go. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect yep. the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. That's the leader. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. Damn. That sway. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Blackmail. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. 
We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Oh, screw this. I'm not that sort of damsel. Train's ready! Come on. Oh, let's go time! Oh my god! Yo, that's a cheap shot. <laughs> it's like, oh! How did you do that? Okay. Then say it in. Oh, great, she can fly. You can't protect Gotham from itself. No, I can. Sticky bomb. We lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. You do a lot of talking. Not sure you can back it up. Try me. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Just like the... Oh, she saved me. Hang in there. Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Come 
Sit on me. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. I'll repeat those exactly. You weren't going to take them down on your own. Okay, good advice. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly, so agreeable. The Riz. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. She has that With their leader. I had a plan. Didn't really know didn't you'd need be you there. swooping in and messing it up. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Kitty cat. Oh, who's back? Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Hey, I promise I don't bite. Yeah, but she does. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? I really like your ass. <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always yeah, you're something. Right. I'm starting to see that for myself. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see? I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times, but you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. You're more than that. That's not all you are. The Riz is what risen up Catwoman. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. Fair enough. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... ...nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. I know what you mean. It's not the same, but... ...I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... ...like a disappointment. Right. Oy. W Riz. Mm. Oh no, she's acting like a cat. 
This is nice. This is nice. Risk the fuck out of her. Did you mean to say that out loud? Oh, she wants it now. Oh, the riz, the riz is impeccable between these two. Oh, she, oh, she wants it. Oh yeah, she wants it. All right, she wants it. Oh. I'll make it up to you. Oh, it's on. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Oh. <laughs> Allow me. Help. me. Hmm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Why so slow? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it Is working? It working? Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't stand up. I want to go get some water, but I can't. <laughs> Should that follow me? <sighs> Impeccable Riz. I didn't even have to do anything. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that <laughs> certainly explains it. She's wonderful. I really like her. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around, if she's trustworthy. Yeah, um, it's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Pick up. Um... I don't know what I should be doing. Ooh. Look, that's my grapple gun. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. Should I take it back? Nah, she can have it. You know what? Fair game. No. I'm not having fucking bagel and cream cheese. Ew, poor people food. I'm poor. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. She's reading porn. Let's be real. Strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could do something like this. I'm not taking it. I'm not gonna steal from her. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. 
That isn't even the good place. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? Or do I actually have to take the grapple gun back? Okay. Oh, maybe I actually have to eat the bagel. Fuck. <sighs> Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. Fuck it. Fuck it, let's... Take out the bagel. Looks alright to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. <laughs> Fuck, where do I hide it? Harvey. Hey. I gotta hide, 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 gotta hide. That's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I stayed the night. I spent the night here. I'm sorry, Harvey. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Harvey. I can't believe this! Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! No, Harvey, it's not what you think. You were using me, weren't you? Both of you! No one does. This isn't about None you. of this is about you, Harvey. What, so I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. She'll be fine. I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't. I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. They aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it! Starting with you! Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? I don't wanna fight you, Harvey. Harvey, you are our friend. We don't wanna fight you. What if I do? Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it. One way or another. Oh, he's gonna hit a woman. About we oh, what an alpha it. move on his This bar. isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena. Looks like you're first. Yeah. Always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made! Harvey! Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Knife, knife, Harvey, knife! put the knife down! Selena! 
He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. I'm beating him up. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. No, I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, you can come live with me. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna to I'm do. gonna be the, at, the nicest guy. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm gonna be the nicest guy that the world will ever see. I'm gonna walk up to that event and I'll be like, yo, Oswald Copot is the best guy I've ever met. He's an absolute giga chad. Then when Batman comes to fight him, he just gets a Two black, I'm two sorry pink, about all this, double Bruce. pink eye. We've uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter, uh, and then great. I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best for everyone. Really, I don't need your two cents, Cobblepot. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please, right now, your reputation, your entire legacy depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you I'll back. I'll play along. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already, then? We are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, 
a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding into oh, save the day. It's happy to be here too, Oz. Really? Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you being such a professional. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny and we've all how everything I said to you in the park has come true? Me, taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear, not even close. No one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm gonna expose you. Oh, knowing and proving are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Wayne, will be where you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. What the Waynes built would not have been possible without the Cobblepots, Oswald. I suppose you deserve it as much as I do. Bloody right, I do. Glad you're coming around to my way of thinking. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. I'll say pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. Just tell me. I have to know. Nah, uh, uh, that's not what I asked. Okay, pretty, pretty please. please. Yeah, there we go. Cold was make me his bitch. Mom found out what your daddy was up to. Threatened to turn him in, she did. She said she didn't want to be a part of it. Now you can imagine, Hill wasn't too keen on that idea. So he slid a few dollars Joe Chill's way, and, well, you saw the rest, mate. And now, then why? Bruce Wayne would That's like to lie. say a few words. What well, then why did Martha get caught in the Enjoy crossfire. yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> I'll stick to the teleprompter. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot. He's an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. <laughs> You're too kind. The company is in great hands. Oswald will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. Oh, I have also thought. And I so think Oswald up this much and finding out he's Oswald a criminal? Oswald Cobblepot. GG's. He's done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. Dropped your pen. That's not... <sighs> this motherfucker. <sighs> Yeah, this is why I get put into prison. That's a drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. 
I am the children of Arkham. Yeah, GG's. I think it's time I knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking the smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none Whoa. of them know Okay, I wasn't fighting. Some thought it. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. She drugged me! Oh, no! <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? Get now, GG's. Uh, episode three. Yeah, I hope sure it's help her. Did I did I stick with majority? Yeah. I did. Yeah, I, I stuck with majority. Ah. After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. Oh shit. The children of Arkham he walked in with a tummy. We need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? Uh, in Arkham Asylum, because you locked him up, you fucking dumb shit. 